All right, uh, turned out to be a chilly afternoon across the area after uh, a fairly cool start across the region. It's going to be even colder here for tomorrow morning. And it looks like we've got a big warm up on the way here for the weekend. The weather looks like it's going to be just fine for your Saturday and Sunday plans. We just have to get through tonight and tomorrow night, and then things should start to warm up for us. Let's get right to your forecast, starting off with your almanac for today 50 degrees. That's all we could muster this afternoon. Uh, that was just a little after 3 o'clock this afternoon. Our average high is 63, so we were running way below that for this afternoon for your afternoon highs. And you see the freeze warning that I showed you earlier, mid to upper 20s expected. Some of the coldest spots here overnight tonight. Hopefully you did take precautions to protect your cold sensitive plants. And again, it looks like uh, as we go through the next few days, we will see this slow warm up. Next couple of nights though, we're going to be chilly. But then by the time we head towards the weekend, we're going to be looking at highs in the 60s with lots of sunshine. Actually, we're going to get to the 60s as early as your uh, Friday afternoon here across the area. Temperatures across Central Maryland here for tonight. Parkton down to 58 degrees. Westminster at 59. Laurel at uh, 28 degrees here. Uh, and it looks like 29 here for Columbia. You're looking at Northeast Maryland, we're looking at temperatures upper 20s and lower 30s from Fair Hill all the way down towards Abingdon and Bel Air. And over on the eastern shore, same story. Temperatures will be into the upper 20s to around 30 degrees. Some of the coldest spots. Best chance of any 20s will be in parts of Caroline County. But as you get a little bit closer to the bay, temperatures, of course, are going to be a little bit warmer. So no risk for a freeze here. Places like Tillman Island up towards uh, Stevensville only dropping into the upper 30s overnight tonight. So high pressure will continue to build into our area. The winds that we had all day today will gradually start coming down. So we don't expect it to be nearly as windy here for tomorrow. And then tomorrow night, another chilly night, but not as cold as it's going to be tonight. And then we're going to start that warm up here as we go into Friday afternoon, where temperatures are going to reach the lower 60s across the region. Maybe some late day clouds tomorrow, but besides that, it looks like it's going to be just fine. And again, those temperatures getting up close to 70 degrees by the time we head towards the latter part of the uh, weekend into early next week. Our next opportunity for rain will come with the next storm system that looks to be next Tuesday. Here's your first alert seven day forecast. And as, you, as I mentioned, temperatures the next couple of afternoons will be a little cool, except. Uh, it uh, looks like uh, set Friday, that's when we'll see those highs back in the low 60s. By this weekend, though, mid to upper 60s, I think Sunday probably be the warmest day of the weekend. And don't forget to set those clocks back before you go to bed here on Saturday night as daylight saving time ends. 70 here for Monday and Tuesday. We'll be tracking that next storm system, which again promises to bring rain chances to the area as early as late Tuesday, more likely here on Wednesday. We'll keep you updated. Back to you.